We are at the grotto. Um, most Maconites know this place just simply as the grotto. My name is Ethiel Garlington. I'm the executive director of Historic Macon. When I first, someone turned me on to this place, it was amazing because it's unlike anywhere I've been in the county. So the structure dates back to the early 20th century, and I think everyone in Macon is familiar with St. Stanislaus College, um, which burned in the, in the 20s, 1920s. And this, the place where we are sitting today, this was part of a retreat for the Jesuits at the college. And so part of the landscape here included a reflection pool, but also this, um, this grotto. And so there was a, a shrine or a statue of the Virgin Mary here. Um, this was a place, obviously, when, if anyone who's been here knows that this is a place where you could come and reflect and relax and sort of commune with nature and, and um, kind of get away from the busyness of the college. Every day starts with the terrible dream that's my name. I swear I heard you scream. I'll raise my Eleven thousand eyes, spirit. 
shapes inside the night. You'll depend upon the sense of vision of the place. Hear the welcome winds that carry all the seeds of change and blow. Down America's open road. So this year, in August of 2016, this is our second list of fading five places for Macon. And the idea is that these are five significant places that are endangered in our community. And clearly, it's endangered. Um, so we're hoping that listing this place, this special place, raises awareness about it, um, but also potentially helps find a new buyer and a new steward for this property. Um, maybe it's a passive park, maybe it's open to the public, um, but either way, we think that this property should be protected. Well, a hundred miles north towards the Georgia state line is a place that I used to call mine it was just beyond the valley and deep within the woods but now there's nothing where it once stood And I always thought that I'd have that place The city walls have grown too close And crowded what I need most So do what was free I remember a better side of this country and I always thought that I'd have that place the city walls have grown too close and crowded what I need most so I do and I destroy 